Okay, hey everybody. Um, it's a really slow morning here. Not really wanting to do anything, but I need to cook some breakfast and get this kitchen cleaned up. So, first, let's see what I got. I want to do some breakfast burritos. There are these frozen hash browns here. I'm going to put them in the microwave for a minute to let them fall out some. Get that in the microwave. I'm just going to put it in there for like 45 seconds just to thaw some of it out. Get some of these dishes out of the way. We got to do the dishes, of course. I'm going to spray this down some. And this, I just got some pine salt and water. I'm not doing like a deep clean yet, just because I am going to be cooking. But I will clean up more after I cook. I'm going to turn that on eh, low to two. This burner can get pretty hot. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my pan. I can get it open. Just a little bit. Enough to get those brown in. Give me that bowl. Of course, an animal family dish. Put those in for another 30 seconds. That oil all on the bottom of the pan. Make my son about finish that one off. And put that away. This one. It is sideways because it got dropped on the way in the house. Get rid of these two. I need something to cook with. Now that these are partly defrosted, I'm gonna cut the bag. Just get a, as much as I want out and kind of break them up into the pan. do a little more than that. I like potatoes. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hands. Oh, it looks like a lake out in my kitchen window. Put these back in the freezer. Just trying to get those in an even layer so they'll brown. I'm going to add some pepper. Not a lot just because I'm going to add some to my eggs. 
too. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. Um, add a little bit of thumbs. My husband cooked this past weekend. I'm going to chop it up. I need some milk. And this is what I have on hand. I'm going to shred up some Munster cheese. done but of course if you've seen my other little short videos that we had some flood in here if I remember to I'll show you what it looks like out in the kitchen window I'm gonna start adding these bacon pieces this burner has a mind of its own sometimes it works good, sometimes it works too good, sometimes it just runs cold. This is the one that was in my house when we got it, but I want to eventually get like an electric one because it sits up on the countertop. This is, it's all new to me, I'm used to one that you just put in between the cabinets. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of that bacon for the youngest son. He's going to be looking for it. Okay. Um, I'm going to add some butter to that. Remember that bacon that I cut up, it was already cooked, so I'm not dealing with any raw meat. So I'm going to use the same knife and cutting board to get some of this cheese off of here. Burner's running a little hot today. I'm just gonna turn it off for a little bit. Okay, got one of my cheese graters. Gonna grate this cheese up. So yeah, I do have chickens and chicken eggs, but at the moment I only have three hens that lay, and one of them's been broody for a couple weeks. Um, if you don't know what that means, for my chick, she does, well chicken, she does that once a year, where she just wants to sit on an egg, 
and until it hatches. I figured, you know, I have some baby, I have 18 medium sized chicks that I'm getting ready to put outside. I figured I had, she's a black uh, band home. I figured I had some black ones that if I take a baby to her, maybe that'll help her. Nope, she was very mean to the baby. So I took that one away. These two. So I'm going to take one of my eggs from my backyard. I don't know why, I've just always done this. I add a little milk to my eggs. Not a lot, just some. Get that all nice and stirred together and the eggs broken up. And this burner's still really hot even though I turned it off, so I'm probably just going to start cooking it while it's off because it's running hot. So I'm just going to spread, oh, I spilled some. I'm just going to spread my eggs all over. I'm going to add some pepper. Oh, the wind from that window just blew it half away. Some pepper, and then I'm gonna add some of my cheese. Start combining. I am gonna turn it on low. You can add whatever seasons you want to this. Which is just how I'm doing it today. Tomorrow, if I was to cook it, I'd probably add some different seasoning. It really just depends on what you're feeling that day. Mm. I'm just gonna cook these eggs in with this. As that's cooking, I'm gonna look for my little skillet. Right here. Heat up some store-bought tortillas, just because it's one of those days where I don't feel like I'm really home making anything. Just wanna throw it together. You can see I got plenty of cheese. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I am going to turn this burner up. Oh, there's only three in here. And I am going to save this bag. I have a thing right there where I save like bread bags, tortilla bags. You never know what you can use them for. I'm gonna get this butter and milk put back in the fridge. So I need to, might be a baggie in here. Yep. I try to resave my baggies also if there wasn't like meat in them. I'm gonna put that cheese in there. Get it back in the fridge. Just trying to heat those up. I don't know where all of my mixing bowls have went, but it seems like they've all disappeared. Okay, got that one. Throw that one in. Mm, let's see if I can reach. Maybe. Since I'm already at it. I'm gonna get my hamburger meat defrosting for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make some spaghetti. Mm. 
I'm gonna flip that one. Get my meat going in my water. That window uh, breeze is blowing that steam that way, but I don't want to turn this on high because then you won't be able to hear me. Okay, those are done. So that window's pushing all that. Get this mess moved for a little bit. So I'm gonna come back after I eat and clean up. Let's see if you can see. Let me scoot you back. I got a plate here. Then I'm going to add my mixture. Remember, it's those potatoes, that bacon I had on hand, some eggs, and some cheese. That's probably too much, but we'll see. I'm going to go eat this and then I'll come back and get some cleaning done. Okay, I'm going to start by sorting these dishes out and getting the sink cleaned up. I'm going to rinse a little bit of these dishes out too. Let's see. So more in that one. It looks like more than it is. What do you want? What are you doing? Sorry, your daddy's not here. One of my dogs is throwing a fit because my husband's not here. Gotta get in the cabinet. Add a little bit of bleach. Wash that separately. I don't know if it makes a difference, but there's only one pot I use for making tea and one spoon, and I do not let anybody cook in that pot and I do not wash it with anything else. As 
that one is soaking from the chicken. I'm probably going to speed this part up because I don't know how many of y'all just want to sit here and watch watch me in real time watch dishes, so I'm probably just going to speed this part up.
Making sure there ain't no more dishes. Okay, now I'm going to move the camera around so I can start cleaning the other side. Okay, I'm going to get this side wiped down first. Got to put this peanut butter up. And again, I just have some pine salt and water in this. Sweeping, not sweeping, pushing the bigger stuff off into the floor because I'm going to sweep them off. I'm going to wring this rag out. I don't know if you can see, but my boot 
uh, wax warmer there. I got that one at Goodwill probably a month or so ago. Probably longer than that. I haven't been there in a while. Okay, we got that side cleaned up. I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, first I'm gonna work on the stove again. I think it's cooled off enough. I'm gonna get some Dawn on here. And I'm gonna use my dish sponge. I'm gonna spray some pine salt water first. Hold on, I got a phone call. Of course, it was a spam call. I'm just gonna scrub this down. So the burner I use the most looks pretty gross, but I've seen people use the pink stuff, stuff like that on it. I've used actual glass top stove cleaner, but I guess just because I use this side so much, and plus it's kind of a little crazy. I don't want to really come off. Once I clean this down, you'll probably be able to see what I'm talking about. I don't know if this light will help. Okay. I'm going to start wiping it off. I have to wipe it, rinse my rag, and wipe it. I don't know if it's going to come off like that. I might have to use a microfiber cloth. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to use a microfiber cloth. See if I got any. Move diesel. Okay. That's better. See, I don't know if you can see what I was talking about here on this part of my stove. Might not look clean, but at least I know I cleaned it. see if you can see. I'm going to move on to that side of the counter. Okay. I got that meat deep defrosting for spaghetti tonight. I'll leave it there, but I'm gonna push it back in case any of my animals feel frisky. Pepper up. Trash. Got a little bit of that bacon left. So you gotta move. Okay. I'm just gonna spray and wipe this counter down. It's not too bad, but it still needs cleaning. Sometimes on camera it's hard to see because these counters are like a black tile. camera around because I need to clean out my microwave. It is disgusting. I don't know how my kids do it. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to do this one by hand just because that tripod already broke this phone. But here's what it's looking like. Get this out of here and get it to the sink. And then, let me see if I got any of that. Uh, no, I don't got any of that, but I did put some Dawn and water in this one. So we could use this one. Let me see. Let's spray this out. Okay, then I'm gonna put some Dawn on my rag. Wet it a little bit. And then I'm gonna start scrubbing. It's hard to reach back here. Might help if I take that off. Scrub these sides. I really don't know how my kids get this microwave this dirty. But it doesn't take long to clean. Move that out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and try to wipe it out. Oh, I can reach. I think my microfiber cloth has too much soap on it. But that's looking better. I'm going to scrub the middle part. I guess it's like a turntable, but let's get that clean. Okay, we're gonna scrub this one down. I have no clue what's all on here. All I know is it's food. Does anybody else's kids do a number on their microwave or? something in the kitchen that they use a lot? Let me know in the comments. Get mm. a scratcher for that part. Probably melted cheese. Get that back in the microwave. Clean this sink again. Okay, well that's nowhere near perfect, but it's cleaner than it was, and my kids are just going to destroy it again. Also, let's see if we can see what it looks like out my kitchen window. See all that water? It's crazy. Okay, I do want to wipe down the front of the fridge. Well, yeah, fridge too, but stove and 
microwave, almost said stove and oven. Mo I guess oven and microwave. And then the fridge. I'm out of glass cleaner, so this pine saw water is just going to have to do for now. We're not striving for perfection, we're just trying to have it cleaner than it was and functional. Nope, I'm not. I'm cooking nothing. Well, yet. I know I'm gonna cook some spaghetti today, but I think that's about it. Besides this morning. Okay, that's better than it was. Gonna do this one. This one, the handles are right. Here. It's not really a handle, but it's like right in there. So there's always extra fingerprints on this one. Okay, well that's all I'm going to get done in today's video. Um, I am going to sweep them up, but I'm going to do that when I do the living room, dining room, all that. I like to do it all at once, even though it takes forever. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you watch my videos and you enjoy them and you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, it helps my channel out. Last time I looked at my analytics, it said like 85% of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed but if you have any suggestions just want to say anything um, leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you um, just I will see you in the next video bye